Hey everyone, welcome back for another devlog. In this one, I wanted to talk about how I've been leveraging procedural content generation while still maintaining a handcrafted experience. Using procedural content has many upsides. First, it helps me create the game faster when it comes to smaller detailed bits. Take this old ruined stone building for an example. Usually I would hand place all the meshes for an area like this. If I wanted to have another one of these in a different area or maybe multiple of these near each other, I'd have to repeat the process and this can take a lot of time. But with a procedurally created building, I can just place it down, it'll generate itself, and I can reuse this asset anywhere. It saves me an incredible amount of time in the long run. It also works great for quickly placing nature assets. Here I use it to generate the forest for the whole map, or I can even use it to create this rocky pass through the mountains. Time isn't the only benefit though. Replayability is probably the biggest benefit, at least for me it is. I think most devs that are creating their dream game are doing it because it's the game they want to play themselves. The issue is I know everything about my game. I don't get surprised by anything, and that's where procedural content generation comes in. Even though I could be walking through the same forest that I've already created, it can still be different every time. Maybe I come across a few NPCs that are just camping out, and next time I visit the same spot, they could be gone. Or maybe I come across a tipped over caravan just waiting to be ransacked. The possibilities are almost endless. I do want to mention that the entire world is not procedurally generated though. I also really enjoy world slash lore building, and a fully procedural world would take away from that. So instead I handcraft things like the landscape as well as major points of interest like cities, forts, towns, etc. And I use procedural generation for everything in between. Another big upside, and this one really only matters to me, but I really really enjoy creating these little procedural areas. Thanks to Unreal Engine's new feature that they introduced in 5.2 that they call PCG, it has made it much easier to modularize the creation of procedural content at runtime. Oh, also it's extremely performant. The whole system is multi-threaded, making it so I could write some more computationally expensive code without the major drawback of freezing the game and killing the frame rate. As an example, I use a PCG graph to decide the spawn locations of smaller points of interest like the campsite. As you can imagine, figuring out acceptable locations to spawn these is not easy. The basic rules when deciding these locations are 1. It has to spawn on the ground and aligned with the surface. 2. It needs to be somewhat flat. And 3. Probably the most important, it needs to not be overlapping with anything like cliffs, rocks, and other structures. So the first thing we do is build a grid of points by projecting downwards using world ray hits. From there, it checks any points that are not touching the landscape and removes them. And now comes the expensive part. We need to remove any points that are within a certain range of the overlapping points. Thankfully, Unreal's PCG plugin makes it extremely easy to multi-thread this. The game will continue normally and the calculation will be done in the background without anyone ever noticing. Once these points have been generated, they can be used to spawn all the smaller points of interest across the map. I'm very excited moving forward to create many more small points of interest, and if anyone has any ideas, please tell me in the comment section. I want to create a lot of these random spots, and I'm quickly running out of ideas. Since Unreal 5.2 released, I've spent a lot of time digging through and learning Unreal's new PCG plugin, and I wanted to share my knowledge and work with everyone else. So I have a public repository on GitHub for anyone that would like to download my plugin that I created to be an extension of PCG. It adds a lot of new useful nodes, and I'm always updating it and creating new nodes. Also, it's completely free, so I'll make sure to leave a link for it in the description. Anyways, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe, as I'll be making more videos about all the other features in the game. And special thanks to all my Patreons. You guys are awesome, and still the reason I'm able to do any of this, and it blows my mind that you guys are, are willing to support me, so thank you. And also thanks to everybody for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.